Hi Cancer, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of March 27th to April the 3rd, 2017. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos out on YouTube with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. And every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you would like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions or a Reiki healing treatment, I welcome and invite you to go to my website. And that is over here at that tab and click on that tab and it will take you directly to my website which is www.berendatarot, spelled T-A-R-O, dot info. See you soon my friends. We start our week cancer on Monday with a major card and you've been given the world. It doesn't get much better than that. This is all about perfection. This is all about a job well done and how you've made some accomplishments at, up to this point in your life. You can now sit back and revel with the joy and the contentment and gratitude and know that you're now on the path. It, it actually refers to it as being on the path of enlightenment. I do see some of you um, ha are going to be receiving an award, some of you are going to be moving to a new house, some of you are going to be going to a new job or a new position within your job. Anyway, my friend, feel the feeling of and the freedom of a job well done. Ace of Water for Tuesday. These can be, uh, these are relationship cards and they can be a romantic or not. And this is telling me that some of you are falling in love. And those of you that have been in a long-standing relationship, because it is the ace, it is the beginning of the resurgence of this love and this relationship. It's almost as like you're going to be feeling spiritual growth and enhanced intuition. This card also tells me some of you are moving to a new house. Wednesday, page of earth. Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives. It can have to do with our jobs, careers, and professions, Mother Earth, the ecosystem, and or uh, it can have to do with our closest circle, which is our families. And this is telling me that there's some good news coming to some of you. And they do refer to it as good financial news, okay? It has to do with financial matters. I know that some of you are wanting to do something more challenging with your job and profession to the point now it shows me that you're going to be taking and looking into a new form of study. Ace of, or Four of Air for Thursday. And this is telling me uh, that some of you may be dealing with legal issues. This has to do with court systems and lawyers and such. But it can also have to do with the challenges that people bring into our personal lives that we have to deal with. Uh, making fair and just decisions and choices involving these individuals that are difficult. Tells me that some of you have been dealing with these types of challenging situations and you're exhausted to the point where you really want to just run away and take a vacation. But it shows me that you need to take more time uh, before making this decision because uh, you may not have the resources, time and effort to actually go away physically right now. So this card recommends that you take yourself to that place of silence and you meditate. Take yourself to that beautiful place where it is you feel you're more, most comfortable and at peace. And it's often there in meditation that we get the answers to our questions. Strength, major card. It's telling me you need to be strong. Uh, this is telling me that you need to be strong within. This is all about uh, great inner strength. This is all about you being able to release any harsh judgments that you've had against anybody because you're going to be strong and you're going to be able to deal with challenges with these individuals with more kindness and more forgiveness and more compassion. Saturday life experience. Major card. Uh, this is all about a significant life event that pretty much has happened to most to uh, a lot of you and some of you and it was like a wake-up call for you. It's, it's about a major life change that's happened to some of you and you realize now that action has actually taken place and it was like a moment of freedom for some of you, okay? It's like an awakening that's about to happen. Anyway, follow your heart's desire, my friend, okay, and your own intuition now because they say that time is running out and it talks about rapid changes going on in your life right now. You're going to be able to spread your wings, actually. Um, it's a powerful revelation that you're going through that leads to change and you're now going to be able to spread your own wings solo. On Sunday, you've been given at the end of the week an Earth card, the Six of Earth, and this is telling me that there's some gifts coming in to some of you, some abundance, and it can be in the form of money, time, or effort. 
So these gifts can have to do with getting more time off work or maybe going somewhere you want to go or, um, you know, uh, some you're going to be getting help for something uh, and you may some of you may be receiving money. I do see there's new career opportunities coming in for some of you and those of you that applied for a loan, please know that it has been accepted. You will get that, that, that money and those that are paying off a debt know that you're going to have the resources now to clear that debt. At the end of this reading, I did incorporate that one Oracle Ascended Masters card and they gave you this. Go now. This is what your guides are telling you to do. So uh, this, this has to do with anything. Uh, if, if you've been contemplating on going somewhere physically, somewhere, uh, you know, when it comes to um, a, a direction, take that direction on your path, whether it's uh, leading you uh, away from something that you shouldn't be in, if it's a negative situation and that energy is negative, remove yourself from it. If it's how you're thinking, get rid of those negative thoughts. If it's, if it's going now, if it's leaving a situation that you're not comfortable in, leave. If, it's, if you've been contemplating moving somewhere, go ahead and do it. If you're contemplating, um, I, I mean, literally moving your residence and going somewhere or leaving your job or leaving a relationship, anything, it's giving you now uh, the information and the guidance that you can go now. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to, my friend. And again, I leave you with a quote, and this is called The 12 Things to Remember. The past cannot be changed. Opinions don't define your reality. Everyone's journey is different and things always get better with time. Judgments are a confession of character. Overthinking will lead to sadness. Happiness is found within. Positive thoughts create positive things. Smiles are contagious. Kindness is free. You only fail if you quit. And my friend, what goes around comes around and I call that karma. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you.